Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. Today it's Tuesday the 13th of October, we will go again through the Italian and international papers to see what they are saying about our beloved Juventus and ask you ask me, a lot of you ask me, I changed the intro, I kept the one I put yesterday, so enjoy the new logo. Strange opening today, I wanted to do something special instead of talking about Juve, I went because you know to the international papers and I saw on us a Spanish paper, Nadal, an interview of Nadal, I didn't read it everything yet at the moment but I love the front page because it's written Todo se resume en tener pasión, everything, we can re recap everything in having passion because passion is a big big drive passion is so important in life and if today i'm able to wake up every time super early to do the videos is because of my passion passion for juventus but also the passion for the community that we created i love it so much so nadal i totally agree with you everything is about passion and that's what i want to transmit the passion for the colors but this is also the passion that you are giving me for the colors. so thank you for that and now we go for the Juve news because I start with a news, a news that might be shocking, a news that a few of you will be angry about, otherwise other one will not. Let's see. Bernardeschi. Looks like Juventus in the last day of this Mercato tried to give Bernardeschi on loan to Lyon. Not only giving him on loan, but plus 50 million euro for who? For Hussein Awar, so the voices about Juventus wanted Awar are real. The problem is that at a certain moment Bernardeschi said no, I don't want to go on loan to Lyon. De Chilio did, but for sure De Chilio was not the deal, that was a separate deal. But Bernardeschi to Lyon could have been the dream. The dream of a lot of Juventini, why? Because having him to Lyon would have made sure that Hussein Awar came to Juve. So we'll have to wait one more session of Mercato, maybe the winter one, maybe the one of uh, the summer, next summer for 21-22, let's see. And Tutto Sport, Tutto Sport is speaking about Ronaldo DS Juve, sporting di sportive director Juve, because yes, they had no inspiration, so they went on the social network, I believe they saw my tweet, the tweet that I showed you yesterday, you remember, with him touching Bappé and uh, also the link with him touching the Ligt last year because they are showing the picture of him with Bappé. Not only that, also a picture of uh, Kamavinga that had the shirt of Ronaldo. We will go through that. And they are writing CR7 is... Um, Reading in Italian, CR7 sempre più uh, calamitate da campione come già era successo con De Ligt. So they are saying actually the same, uh, still more a sporting directive like it happened with De Ligt. The supporters of Juventus are dreaming. Guys, I just want to say one thing. The fact that Ronaldo was speaking with Bappé, yes, we loved it. Yes, we laughed about it. But I believe that none of us believe that Ronaldo really asked Mbappé to come to Juve. That being said, speaking about uh, Kamavinga, 17 years old, he posted on Instagram a picture of him, uh, not of him, of the shirt that he exchanged with Ronaldo. What a nice thing. And also he wrote in French, he wrote, Je le lave pas, I will not wash it. Really nice because yes, Cristiano Ronaldo for a lot of us is a an idol, he is the GOAT, and when you see all the people posting the French players like Pogba, Mbappé, Kamavinga, and so on, putting the picture, they didn't choose any player of Portugal, but just Ronaldo, because he is, we can say whatever we want, but the fanboys are not only between us, but also big players, well-known players are fanboys of Ronaldo. I understand it. And now uh, Pirlo, because we continue with the Ronaldo news, Pirlo is saying seeing Ronaldo training every day makes me really happy. Seeing him training and playing, he's a symbol of world football at 35 years old. 
he still works like a young boy, an example for everyone. And I agree with that. And I will give you a secret. The Sun, the Sun Football, an English paper, they gave the Ronaldo's typical daily diet menu. The menu, how does he eat to a 35 years old to still be in big shape? So he starts with the breakfast, cheese and ham, low fat yogurt. Then he has a first lunch because he do it in two time. The first lunch is uh, chicken and salad. Then he go with a second one with tuna, olives, eggs and tomato, a snack in between uh, from fresh fruit, avocado, avocado toast, and then he has two dinners. Yes, two dinners. No, one is not enough. Fresh swordfish and salad, and then the second one, steak and calamari. I love calamari, just uh, between us. But guys, this is the secret daily diet uh, menu of Cristiano Ronaldo. If you want to be in form like Ronaldo, follow it and you will be a champion. Don't forget to train. Corriero dello Sport, what are you saying about Juve? Nothing, so we stop immediately. We will not spend any moment. Gazzetta dello Sport, are they saying something? No, I don't know if it's Gazzetta dello Sport or Gazzetta dell'Inter because they are speaking every day about Inter, so we close immediately, but inside. And this is quite funny, actually, because they are showing uh, the 20 clubs that actually, uh, how many they spend to have the team that they actually have so how many money and we see that manchester city they spent 1036 million euro to have the team that they have that's a lot they are winning it uh, followed by paris saint germain with 888 we see manchester united with 844 so just i want to show you it's not because you spend 844 that you are in the top three of big spenders that you win because manchester united the biggest success of the recent years is finishing uh in i believe third or fourth and qualifying for the champions league where is juventus it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Number eight for Juventus with 594. Uh, what's quite uh, interesting also in that one is that uh, Naples, Napoli, uh, is even before Inter with 467, while Inter had 439. I was quite uh, surprised to see that because uh, we, we think that uh, Napoli is always quite saving cost and spending and so on, but actually they spend a lot of money. Pirlo, he continued to speak about Champions League saying that, uh, yes, it's an objective, absolutely, but we have to pay attention because it's really difficult. And the most difficult period is March. March, you know, a month that Allegri said a lot, we have to wait until March, you see the real Juve, blah, blah, blah. Pirlo is also speaking about March, saying that at that time you should be really lucky with the draws, absolutely, but you will, be, uh, you will have to be in control, in control of the two games. We continue with the news, Divine. Uh, why? Because we are speaking about Champions League. Dybala, uh, he doesn't feel really uh, good. He has a gastro uh, He feels uh, quite bad, so he's not playing, but he will travel to Bolivia with the Argentinian team. And from there, he will take the private jet of Messi to come to Torino to be there on Thursday. If he feels better, he will start training. Otherwise, he will probably miss the game versus Crotone. The, the thing why I was reporting that news is because Messi, we know that in 15 days, the big clash Ronaldo versus Messi, Juventus versus Barcelona. Max, Max Statman, my good friend, he was reporting words of uh, Alaba. Actually, because Sport Media said earlier they were saying that uh, there was already an agreement between Juventus and Alaba to sign the player to have them because he will be free from January on. There was already a total agreement. Max is reporting uh, the words of the representative of uh, Alaba, uh, Zahavi, and dad, his dad, George, who was saying that actually at the moment they cannot deny, uh, but they cannot confirm anything. But uh, at the moment they said that the Bayern still wants. To to continue with the player negotiation are ongoing there is not a real ultimatum so it it will take a bit of time but yes juventus is interested in araba then for sure the fee the salary will be decisive speaking about transfers we have haaland haaland on the front page of marca why are they speaking about him because they say if real madrid can't go for their number one priority Mbappe, they will probably go for Haaland. So guys, it will be a war between the clubs to sign that talented striker. Today is also the last day where my t-shirt is at minus 15% discount on terrainsfinest.com. So if you want the t-shirt with the new logo and with uh, the quote, 
Ciao Juventini of the world, minus 15% is the last day today with the discount code HB39. Up to you if you want it or not, let me know, I'm super curious. That was it, guys, thank you for everything, as always, Forza Juve.